We just took our friend's business logo and turned them into some real life signs using our Glowforge and some resin. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, it's Favor for a Friend Friday. We have a friend, Jesse, who has a travel agency and he needs a big sign of his logo. Yep, he came by the farmer's market and saw the sign that we put on the front of our checkout booth and he was like, hmm, can you guys make me one of those? And we were like, of course we can. But the trick is, we gotta make it, go ahead. It's gotta be durable. It's gotta be able to travel. It's gotta fit inside his carry-on suitcase. Right, so we're like, great, we can make you a little one, but if you know us, we also wanna make you a big one. So we're gonna make a couple versions today and we're gonna try a couple of different techniques and we're gonna show you guys how we do it. Yep, we're gonna try one with short little letters out of eighth inch birch. Then we're gonna try some out of quarter inch letters, but we're gonna coat it in resin. And then we're gonna get really poppy for the last one and really bring out that beach theme with some more resin. Yep, yep. So we found that with the quarter inch letters that are really thin, they work great if you're gonna hang that thing on your door and leave it there. But yeah. if you're gonna travel with it like Jesse wants to do. In and out of a suitcase, on a table, off a table, on e another table. Yeah, they'll, they'll easily get crushed moving around and they'll break, especially if they're tiny thin little letters. And what he has is going to be thin little letters at the bottom. So we're gonna try that eighth inch version and we're gonna paint that one and we think that's gonna make that one very durable for travel. But we've got a solution for the quarter inch version that I also think is gonna make it durable for travel oh. and that's the resin and we're gonna try that too. Step one, we have to convert his image into something that we can cut. So he gave us a high resolution PNG and I'm gonna take it into Illustrator, convert it and cut it. I'll meet you over there. Step two, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed some quarter inch MDF, some eighth inch birch plywood, some glue, a little bit of paint, and uh, resin. Yeah, we'll be using our Total Boat resin for this project. Although we did look at the Alumalite uh, deep pour resin, yeah. but I don't think we're gonna end up doing a deep pour, and it takes a whole lot longer to cure. Too long to cure, it's like five to seven days. Well, to it's fully five cure. To seven days. Well, it'll work if you were doing a deep pour, so I found that at Michael's. That seemed pretty cool. But since I don't think that's what we're gonna end up going with, I wasn't sure. Yeah, I think it'd be light coats. Yeah, I think we're gonna use this tabletop resin. Plus, it doesn't have to be food grade, so the Illuminite deep yeah. pour is food grade. We'll just tell them, don't eat off the sign. <laughs> Do not eat off Do, your sign. Don't eat your lunch on this, it's yeah. not a tray. <laughs> it looks tasty. Don't do it. <laughs> Step three, we're gonna make all of our cuts. I'm gonna bring the birch and the MDF over to the Glowforge. I'm gonna cut out all three signs right now. That way I don't have to turn it back on. Super efficient. It's the name of the game. Yeah, that's you, babe. Step four, now we paint. We're gonna paint all of the signs right now. While we have the paint out, might as well get it all done. So we have our birch, our eighth inch birch. We have a couple couple here in case I mess something up or lose a piece. Yeah, I already lost a piece. Luckily I cut like three. We did this one in, what size is this? Like 12 inch? Yeah, it's like 11.5. 11 and a half inch. And this will sit on the table real easy and st sit in a stand really easily. And then this one is closer to 14 inches, 13.75. 13.75 should still sit fit inside the suitcase, but be a little thicker, a little uh -huh, bigger. Uh -huh. And then the other. And this guy, this is where we're gonna try to make it pop. Throw some resin ocean down there with a little bit of beach. Maybe somebody laying out on the beach getting all sunburned. I don't know. No, probably not that far. <laughs> but this one, he does a lot of cruises. At least he's booked a couple of cruises for us. 
and we thought we'd try the ship's wheel for this one, give it that extra little Oof. pop. That extra pizzazz. All right, colors should be pretty easy. So for this one, we are gonna use some acrylic paint and not our Country Cheek chalk, chalk paint, which we love. But I think to add the resin on top of some of these, uh, we're gonna use the acrylic and the, the acrylic paint. Step five. Now we're gonna glue it down with this star bond. It should stick forever, and it's pretty fast. And we only have one thing of glue. Oh! Oh! <laughs> this was not there five seconds ago. I don't know where you pulled that out. I got you back. I got you back. <laughs> that is so funny. Out of nowhere, it was glued in front of me. <laughs> They look awesome. Alright, there's the big one. There's the tiny one. The little guy. They look great. I don't know if you can see them. They look great. Here, let's do this. My glue is still sticking. It's sticking in my fingers. A little mess it up. Yeah. So let it dry for a minute. Uh -huh. And I'm gonna take the small one out and hit it with a whole lot of a polyacrylic. <laughs> like layers on layers on layers. We're really gonna give this thing a real coat of spray. Seal it up, soak it in. Yeah. Yeah. Spray it down. It's not gonna be out in the weather that I know of. I just think that you wanna make sure that it's durable, yeah. the paint doesn't smudge. If you have scuffed, you'll be able to wipe it clean. Yeah, yep. so this one's done. The, like, he definitely has one. Yeah, he's got one. <laughs> now let's start to experiment. Yes, yeah, so now we're gonna take this 14 incher and fill it with epoxy. Let's, let's let the glue really dry. Really dry first. Step six. Now we're gonna pour the resin over top of the MDF, the quarter inch MDF one. The uh, table looks pretty level. Kim's convinced it's level enough. It is. It's even more level when you set it on the side. I noticed, okay. All right, so we hope it's level level. We're gonna mask level up. Level level. And pour it in. <laughs> So the resin didn't really work. I don't know if you can see all the bubbles and everything. What happened was we had to go to dance class. I popped all the bubbles with the heat gun. We ran the dance class and when I came back, it looked like a Sprite. There were so many bubbles. So I tried to take the heat gun out again and pop them all. But all that really did is kind of melt the resin and make it look gooey in places. It was like a gel by the time we got back and it just didn't work. It did not work out. But when we we're doing the painting and gluing, I made two of them just in case. So I'm gonna go hit this one with some gloss, like gloss clear coat. Maybe we won't get so many bubbles if I seal it first. I think the pores in the uh, MDF is what really caused all those bubbles. So I'm gonna try to seal it with gloss. I'll meet you outside.
Step, uh, uh, we forgot what step we're on, but we're on the last sign where we're gonna add some resin to it. We're gonna add a beach theme behind here and then glue the sign on top of it. Fingers crossed. Well, Kevin. glue the letters and the ship on top. Uh, yeah, yeah, glue the design yeah. on top. Yeah. So. Yes, so we're gonna do three different colors. We're gonna do a darker blue, a medium blue, a light blue, well, four, and, and then the white. white. Mm -hmm. Make those waves crash. And did we decide to add sand? We've been back and forth on whether or not to add sand. Yeah, I'm thinking a teeny bit of sand, just right at the tippy bottom. What do you think? Yeah, I don't want it to be, because this is going to have words on it, yeah. I don't want the sand to change the texture mm -hmm. of the resin. I do want it to still be flat, so just a little at the bottom, I think. Yeah, I'm okay. thinking either a teeny bit of, a bit of better sand, teeny bit of sand, teeny bit of better sand. I'm thinking either just a teeny bit of sand or no sand. Teeny bit of sand. Teeny bit of sand. Now I'm going to pour the resin into these other cups so we can add the pigment. It's supposed to be super dry. I was thinking you need a lot more pigment, but that pigment seemed to go a long way. That pigment went a long way. Alright, we're going to start with the dark blue at the top. Then we're going to do the light blue, the teal, and then throw some white waves up on it. Heat gun wasn't cutting it. We went with a tiny leaf blower. We're gonna let this sit for four hours and then we'll come back and see what we got. Four long Bam! Look at that thing! That thing looks good. So nice. I was becoming very disappointed with resin, but this Now this you're back in. It. This yeah. <laughs> sucked me back in. Alright. Now we're going to uh, glue the letters down and the design and everything to the resin. But I made a template, so we should just be able to lay this on and drop the pieces in. All right, let's do it. Should like, we dry fit it first? Toothpicks in there. Well, no, because I think you're seeing. Yeah. I don't want it, the glue to leak under and glue this thing to it. So I want to raise it up just a smidge. Okay. Well, you want to use a couple of these popsicle sticks? Yep, that will work. There you go. There you go. Slide them up under here. How about I hold it for you as you drop them in there? You're going to hold it the whole time perfectly? Yeah. Done. professional opinion is to use this because this leaves just a tiny little bit of glue and it's less likely to ooze out from underneath. All right, so should I do it on no. there or put it on, on there? On the letters in this case, in. yeah. I know Garrett prefers to glue on the board and then put the words on the board, but that works great when you have... <laughs> the cameras just went out. That works great when you have the um, score marks to place the letters but in this case we don't we're having to use this frame so i mean we wouldn't be able to line it up that well I so. but i do that and you do the placing that's gonna, well, gonna be here placing, all day placing is easy as that bam
great. Everything looks good, right? Yeah. Careful, careful. Looks okay. Everything seems alright. You want to put it in the wheel now? Let's put it in the wheel. All right. Oh, I just set my sleeve in resin. That was still sticky. Hey, the edges look okay. The edges look pretty good. <laughs> Glue on the back or glue on this? I put glue in here now. Okay. Glue it. Glue it and I'll drop it. Ooh, getting fancy. Getting fancy with the glue. That's good enough. So this is level. Does it look good? Yeah. Look good, look level. No, you turned it to the right side. Why'd you do that? Yes. Like level that. right here? Maybe back a little bit to the left. What do you mean left? The left. Pull this down. Well, that's right counterclockwise. Alright, I'm dropping it. Okay. It's dropped. Okay. Alright. You guys ready? Look at that! Okay, let's hold it up this way. Does it look does it look level? No. It doesn't. Looks like it needs to come to the right just a little. Oh, you kept look saying left, huh? And look at the mm. sand. Oh, it's fine. It's, it's good. It's good. They'll be too wowed to see that the sand is slightly off center. That's what we meant for it to be. <laughs> You're flying in over top of the beach. It's slightly out the window. That's how it is. I think it looks great. All right, we were gonna fill this one with resin, but because we couldn't get the other two to work. Like this one didn't work. That one didn't work. We're not even going to attempt. Can you guys see? No, it just kept bubbling. Constantly bubbling. Yeah. Constant. And wouldn't stop. So this one was almost there. Almost there. And then it really started to bubble. And then I picked it up to go show Kim. And I thought it was pretty solid. And I tilted it to show her. And I dumped it all over the table, all over my shoes, all he, over the floor. And, 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 and what he means, he brought it to me to show me. He brought it down the stairs. Through the kitchen. Across the kitchen, yeah. Across the kitchen, um, down the hall, and to the front room where I was. This teetering <laughs> jelly pie he brought me. And by the time he got to me to show me, I was like, what is that? And it was oozing resin everywhere, all the way down the hallway. Oh, it wasn't across that far down the, the hallway. It, well, what, what did you spend the next 30 minutes doing? Cleaning up the hallway. <laughs> he was down there freaking out. He was like, give me some paper towels. Give me something to scrub with. Uh, it was a mess. And we already gave Jesse his two other signs, so. Yes, this has been gone. a couple of day process here. This wasn't all done in one yeah. day, so mm -hmm. we had to hurry up and give Jesse the two that we did, that we just painted, so that he could take it on his business trip. So if you follow We Book Travel on Facebook, you'll see that he's left for his business trip. And. And he doesn't get to take these awesome signs with them yet. Yeah, well, I don't know. Maybe it's a display sign. I think you could put a little hinge back here and have this, I mean, look at that on a table. Wouldn't that be awesome? That'd be an eye catcher. I do think I'm gonna put a stand and a hinge so yeah, he yeah. can stand it up. It's not that tall. I think it'll be great. All right, well, I think we're about out of time. So if you are not joining us for the patron after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. Yeah, you know what's coming. <laughs> oh, that one was easy. Oh, it wasn't too bad. It didn't last too long. This one. That one's just round. Yeah, Woo! You might as well, yeah. Maybe you could use that like a frisbee and chuck it into the woods. Oh, man. This would knock somebody out. This might take out a tree. <laughs>